Hello, it's Gem Games here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the distance between the camera and the player, like for example in GTA V. So I will show you. Now it's on the uh, closest one, now it's on the middle, and now it's at the first. And it will go back to the first, second, third, first, second, third. And obviously you can add more states here if you want, but yeah. Okay, let's get started. So, first you want to go to the third person folder and to the blueprints and to the PP third person character. Let's open it. And we want to actually create a variable here. Let's call the variable camera distance index. Camera distance index. And let's change the type to the integer like that. Compile and save. Now let's go to the edit and to the project settings. And here under the engine, we want to find the input and open that. Here on the action mappings, we want to create a new one. Let's call this change camera distance. Change camera distance, like that. Let's select the key. So let's click and select the key that we want to use. I want to use the Wii. Uh, Wii like that. Now we can close this and we want to uh, go to the uh, find some empty space on the event graph. Let's let, right click and search for the change camera should be somewhere change camera distance. Like that. And what we want to do here now we want to first check if this camera distance index we want to get it and we want to check if it's equal. Now we want to select the highest number that we want to use. For example, if we want to use three states, we can actually first set, this. let's click this uh, variable. Let's set this default value to, I want to start with the middle uh, distance, so middle index. So let's set it to two because I want to use one, two, and three. Okay, I want to set it to two. Okay. So now we want to check if the camera distance index is equal to three, which will be my furthest index. Okay. And if it is that, we want to keep the P pressed and left click and get from the pressed and connect it. So if it's three, then we want to get the camera distance index and we want to set it to one. So it goes back, back to the first one. Okay. And if it's not, we want to get the camera distance index and we want to get from it and plus plus so increment in the chair like this and get from the false so if it's not equal to three which is the furthest or the biggest one then it will increase by one if it is it will make it back to the first one okay and if you want to add some more states if you want to for example use two states you want to just take if it's for example two and yeah you want to set it to back to one and yeah, like that. If it's four, if you have four, you want to set it. If it's four, you want to set it back to one and so on. Okay, let's compile and say. Now we want to actually create a new function. Let's call it change camera uh, distance, for example. Okay, now here, what we want to do, we actually first want to get the uh, TPS camera, which I have renamed, but uh, it's your follow camera, and it has this camera boom, which has the target arm length, what we are going to change. So we want to get this camera boom, what to get from it, and set target arm length. Okay, and what we want to set it with, actually let's connect it here, what we want to set it with is we want to get from this and we want to interp so f interp to like this. And now we want to move this camera boom for example to here and we want to add a reroute pin here. And align this. Okay, let's get the camera boom. We want to get get a target arm length. First we want to get it. We want to connect it to current like that. And then we want to get the uh, 
We want to get from the target and we want to select. Use this utility, select this at the bottom. Okay, like this. And now we want to select it with, let's get the camera, distance index. We want to connect it to the index like that. Now we want to add pin, add pin. Now I'm going to use option one, two, and three. If you are using more or less, you want to just, you need just those pins. If you want to just use two different options, you want to get, for, for example, one or two, if you want to use those. Okay. So now what I want to do here, I want to set these distances. So first one, first, the closest one is option one for me. I want to set it to 300. Option two is the middle one. I want to set it to 450. And the first one is 600 for me. That. And note that I'm not using the option zero. Okay. Because I have set here that it will set the, after it is three and you try to increase it, it goes back to the one. So the zero is never used. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do here now? We want to get from the delta time. We want to get world delta seconds. And we can leave it to here. And to the interrupt speed, you can set whatever you want. But first, let's set it to like five. I think that's pretty good base value. You can adjust it later. Okay, let's compile and save. And uh, one more thing we have to do here is let's actually move this even further like this. And let's keep the uh, B pressed and let's add a branch. Okay, let's connect this to here and this to the true. And actually, we can move this branch closer to here. Now we want to get the target arm length and we want to get not equal node. Connect also this select there. So first we are checking if the current target arm length is not equal to the camera distance uh, target, like target, target arm length, what we want to use. If it's not equal to that, to that then we can continue and set it to that or interpret that. If it already is, we don't want to do anything. Okay, it's done. We want to compile and save and go back to event graph. Now we want to get our event tick. Let's get it to here. So event tick. And to the event tick, we want to get the change camera distance. Connect it to here. And we are basically done. So let's compile, save, and go to the map and play. So now, if we press V, it goes further. We press again, it goes closer. It's on the state one, state two, straight three, state one, two, three. And it's always working. And you can do it when you're playing like this. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And I have a pretty a uh, long Call of Duty Chompies tutorial series on my channel, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you, you want to go to check it out. At least I think so, because I, it, it's pretty okay. People have told me that. And yeah, hope you have a great day, and see you in the next one. Bye.